Hi, I'm Brenda from Etsy PixFix, and today I'm going to show you how to use PhotoFuse to create white background for your product photos. For this video, I'll be using a picture of some beautiful green beach glass earrings created by Jennifer of iSpire Designs on Etsy. Now, Jennifer, in her announcement, tells us that she is actually legally blind and creates all her jewelry by touch. Today, I will be updating the background on these beach glass earrings to create a white uh, background rather than this gray one. And the white background will really allow the, the green of the beach glass to really show up and really pop. It'll look really nice. So we're going to go over to PhotoFuse. You can sign up for PhotoFuse in two different ways. You can sign up with your Etsy shop and it will automatically import your Etsy pictures over to PhotoFuse so that you can edit them as you wish. Or you can sign up with your email address so that you can upload the pictures from your computer. I signed up with my email address and so I could upload from my computer. You can create albums for different types of photos that you're working on, whether it's works in progress or you're, you're working on editing photos from your website or Etsy. You can create albums to, to separate your photos and make it easier if you're going to be doing a lot of editing. I haven't created an album. I'm just going to press the plus sign to add a photo. So you get taken to this page and you just click upload photo. And I'm going to go to the gray photo, iSpire Designs. Now you have this toolbar up here. The magic highlighter will try to guess where the edges are on your object. So we're just going to highlight here. And you'll see it's got all these jagged edges. That's because it's trying to guess where things are and it's picking up the, the shadows and it doesn't make for a clean, clean image. So we're just going to click this back arrow and it'll just take it all away. I use the regular highlighter and I'm going to create a smaller highlight that's a little bit too wide when we're going over the earrings wires. So we're just going to go smaller. So it just goes over the wire. I'm just going to highlight these areas. It doesn't matter if you pick up some of the shadow. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, it does work fairly well to determine where the edges are. If you get to a larger part, you can always change your highlighting tip size uh, so that it, you don't have to um, paint as much. You can make it as big or small as you want as you do your highlighting. And don't worry about making a mistake because they do provide an eraser. So I'm just going to go way over here. And they have an eraser. So you just do erase the areas that you want to remove the highlight from. And it just takes it off. You can also rotate your picture here. And you can just click one click of a button and clear your highlight. So you'll see over here is a small thumbnail. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. It says click to view larger, but unfortunately the larger preview is only available when you pay for PhotoFuse Pro. But this works fine. We can just look at, um, at the little thumbnail here. You can see that the wire isn't showing, and that's because our sensitivity is set too low. Sensitivity is at one, so basically that's saying um, don't don't focus too closely on the the edges. It's being sensitivity is one is a very low sensitivity. We want it to be more sensitive so it actually sees the wires. So you'll see as we move it up, it processes that and we look in the in the preview and you can see a little bit more showing. So we're going to move it up actually to four. And you'll see now that the wire is showing. If we move it all the way up to five. Yeah, we've got it sh showing, but we also see here that there's a shadow of the wire. This part in here is showing. So we're actually going to take out a little bit of the highlight. And then it won't pick up as much. And then most of it has gone away. Now we can put out a little bit more maybe. 
brightness is for the brightness of the object. If we move it all the way down to minus 100, you can see the objects are very dark now. And if we move it all the way up to 100, it's very washed out. So just move that to where you think it looks best. Background clarity is how dark or light your background is. If we move it all the way to zero, you can see it's really gray and also kind of speckled. And if we move it all the way to 100, it's got a nice bright white background. So then we have background style. I don't use this. I usually keep it on this top corner for white because that's what I use PhotoFuse for, is to make a white background. But if you move this around, it changes the color of the background. So you see here's a, a really light gray. Move it over to that corner, just a bit darker gray. You go natural. It brings it back to basically almost what the photo was at the first time. And if you go all the way to the other corner, it's just a flat gray. So I'm going to see that in the middle is kind of a pearlized gray. I'm just going to move it right back to the white. Anytime you're wondering what each of these areas are, you can click for more information and it goes on. Uh, it gives you instructions on what it's for and how to use these little tools. Then they also have, you can do color correct, which, I mean, clicking these buttons isn't really changing anything in the thumbnail. But I would imagine if you have a photo that's very um, over underexposed or has other issues, then clicking these buttons would try to correct your product photo. So once we're done, we just click Finish. And it just takes a couple of moments. And you'll say, it tells you processing times vary. Usually it finishes in about a minute, but it will send you an email to your email on file when it's done. So then we click the picture and you have the option to download it um, in large size or extra large. Extra large again is only available if you pay for the PhotoFuse Pro version, but large works just as well. So we click download and it opens up the last file that you were in and you can just navigate through your, your organizer here to wherever you want to put it. I do want to put it in my Etsy Pix Fix videos folder. As you can see, I've been working on it this previously, so I do have some in there already, but I'm just going to rename that one and resave it. And it just downloaded it to my computer. So now we can click the X off. And the one thing I wanted to show you that's not intuitive with PhotoFuse is how to delete pictures. When you look here, there really seems to be no way to delete the photos. If you right click it, it just brings up your standard internet um, commands. You need to go show advanced and then you have the option to delete or delete all. So we're going to delete that and the next time we come in that picture will be gone. So there you have it. That's how you use PhotoFuse in order to create a white background for your product photographs.